Shroom quesadillas. Yeah, Golden, I have a question about Metroid Fusion. Okay. So, SAA, is it the whole thing you see, or did someone just make a clone of Samus and put her in a freaking Varia suit? It's, okay, basically, after Samus had all of its parts surgically removed, the X formed into one, pretty much it's one parasite. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And it basically became like a complete duplicate of Samus. Yeah. Okay. But is that duplicate wearing a suit, or is that duplicate the suit and body? Uh, both. Uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> You'll see, like, later in the game, because after you face it, it actually starts to get pretty intense. And more disturbing I can imagine. by the minute. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys, I mean, you guys, like, you guys are all terrified of it, despite how <coughs> assuming it seems to me, so I'm going to assume that it's pretty intense. <coughs> I was gonna ask. Uh, Xiao, uh, uh, Xiao, uh, I can't say that name. Oh, um, Xiao Mush. The, uh, yeah, the bear set the bees on fire. Xiao Mush. <laughs> oh. Xiao <laughs> Mush. Also, for some reason, Xiao's name reminds me of that, like, in one song that got memed up with Bongo Cat, Du Hast Mesh. I was gonna interrupt you with Barbie Girl. Oh, please don't. Like, yeah, please, uh, no. Aww. <laughs> yeah, I, it's like, I couldn't help myself just thinking, Jamas Mishka for us. <laughs> Instead of two hearts, man. Jamasuna. Well, now I'm suddenly, I'm starting to remember that one Russian song that had this, like, it's their own version of Macarena. It's based on a frog, and it's got a bizarre dance move. I forgot what it's called. Oh! It's like someone a pow Someone a pow pow Something like that. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know, I know, I know what you're talking about. That song. I know what you're talking about. PewDiePie sang you... it. I love how you guys are talking about. I love how you guys are talking about a Russian song that sounds kind of calm, and I'm here talking about Du hast mich. You mean Ramstein? <laughs> Yeah. Ramstein. Ramstein is cool. Yeah. Du, du has, du has nish, du has nish of ra. Du has nish of ra. The one that I always love listening to, and it's probably because I was first introduced to it, was um, what is it called? Fire Fry or something like that. It's um. Oh, who died? It was in um, it was in Triple X. Oh. I, I think Chris remember... is about to play Bloodstained. I don't remember what that, which one that one is. I think it might be called that, but don't egg on me on it. Don't take my word for it, because I don't remember 100%. Also, like, my discovery of Ramstein, and more specifically Duas Mesh, made me think of something. Why are we, English-speaking people, so, like, into songs? written and sung by people who speak different languages that we definitely don't fucking understand. <laughs> and we I have no idea what has, they're saying. I think that has more to do with the, um, like, a sense of mystery that you're curious about. Yeah. Also, hmm. some of the beats in a lot of the, the, in a lot of the songs, like in J-pop, for example, they're extremely <clears throat> catching. So, hmm. that's another reason. Also, a lot of power metal bands are, uh, from, like, Finland and a lot of European countries and there's just yeah. a different sense of atmosphere that you just like you just want to get so invested in well, like personally well, I like foreign think? I like foreign music because I don't have to hear lyrics about about uh, how how many hoes I got in different area codes every other you <laughs> oh you mean like with <laughs> like, why else do you think Gundam style why do you think Gundam style was so popular all of 2013 still he has 2012, a point it was yeah, it's true. Look it's it because of that. And from what I remember, it involved something related to horse. I don't know what, but it was something related to that. Horse? Horses. Na, 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 na. Uh, especially considering, uh, like, in a lot, in the, the very beginning of his video, his music video, you see he's in a stable with horses. 
Oh my god, I can move people again! I'm happy now. <laughs> Discord has stopped shafting me. Yay! Uh, and here I thought you liked it that way. Ooh. Sorry, it was too easy. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I guess you have to attain some amount of revenge from the last stream where okay. you and Jesse became Watchful the literal butt of the joke. Watchful Punny said it best. Finland and New Zealand are the home of a ton of metal. That's true. That also includes Nightwish. Hmm. That is true, because a lot of good, like, the best examples of metal is usually ones that are not American-related. That are freaking hmm. them screaming at, like, the freak, like, their freaking balls hmm. got cut off. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong! Like, their balls got dipped in nitroglycerin and then smashed with a hammer. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Fucking hell! Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to hear all the guys cringe at once! Oh my god, we're laughing our butts over here! Thank you, Ellie, you son of a bitch! You're welcome! That's, uh, what can I say? Uh, 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 You're welcome! <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of these days I'm gonna go too far and Brett's gonna actually murder me in my sleep. It's, you're gonna try to do the same thing to me because I muted your ass in Metroid 2. <laughs> I worry what you guys are gonna do to me. We're just gonna sit here and watch you asphyxiate from laughter. Oh, shut up! Honestly, <laughs> tell, tell me honestly, she's wrong. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if the entire... I wouldn't be, I mean, be surprised. Oh, yay. I wouldn't be surprised if the entirety of Bronicon is just golden and Eliora constantly, w like, watching over their shoulders because they think the other is going to try something and then nah, nothing I actually happens. <laughs> I don't care. Like, I have almost Cartman levels of karma coming at me at all times. I'm just about as bad as Silver Quill. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, anything that comes at me, I deserve it. I know it. Uh, hmm. Oh boy, as for, uh, I've been like, um, constantly working oh, on uh. stuff that I'm hoping, like some gifts I'm working on. Like, okay, the only thing I'm worried about, Chris, have I been a good wife so far? Okay, oh. I can die without regret. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been funny if he said no. I would have wow. been heartbroken. I would have been painful. Don't say that. I would have been I... heartbroken. I would have actually cried. It's over here. If, Don't I'm make just, Ellie cry! Like, if Sorry. any of that situation came to pass, I would very quickly stop enjoying myself. Well, oh. I'd just talk about broccoli penises again and you'd be <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> See? It worked already. Damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I found the video. Gangnam Style started in 2012. Oh, oh, Gangnam oh. Style! Oh. Doo -doo 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 well, to Gangnam be fair, style. nobody shut. Honestly, to be fair, nobody shut the fuck out of about it for another fucking oh. year. So, who can blame? Well, well Harlem Shake started up in 2013. Is and Harlem Shake still a thing? Is is, it? is haters gonna hate Not still really. a thing? Well, I thought that the Harlem <laughs> Shake was dead years ago. I think Teen Titans it Go is. tried to revive <laughs> haters gonna hate. With one scene. The so dab started in late 2015, and that still we won't die. We don't talk about it Teen Titans die. Go. Yeah, okay, uh, fair no. enough. Teen Titans Go is an abomination and should burn in the pits of hell. And what's hey, worse is that... Hey, Asmodeus, we got a gift for you. Here's something you can actually torture. <laughs> ah! Hey, that one guy who was making the death rays with all the mirrors and shit. Um, this way. <laughs> this way? A little more to the left. There we go. And it doesn't work. Yeah. With all the mirrors which Ow! Oh, that just sounds that just sounds like an episode of Mythbusters. <laughs> because it was. <laughs> it does, now that I think about it. It does remind me of that. Like it fa like that shit failed. Super hard. That got me the real Then thing again, about. all of like all of the ancient super weapons that weren't a catapult or a trebuchet failed. Oh wait, there's another pathway. <laughs> that got me to think. They Is kind of... are still going? I think they have new hosts. Like, Jamie and Adam definitely are not doing it anymore. 
but mm. I, I'm not sure if the show itself got Ow. started back up. Because it was Discovery's most popular show for many a year. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna be quite honest. I feel like, um, I feel like Mythbus is gonna go the same way that Top Gear has, in that you know, once you took away the only compelling reason to stick around, the colorful cast of characters that are funny and a joy to be around, what's the point? That's true. Oh. It's like an expl. Is like, in my personal opinion, watching an explosion that spans for miles is only fulfilling if I get to listen to Jamie fangasming about it. Or Adam <laughs> dissing his Adam eyebrows. Adam was the one fangasm. Jamie just uh. stood there and was like, oh. You see, that's how bad it is. I've started yeah. to forget, and it makes me sad. That I'm starting well, to forget easy why way to enjoy. An easy way to remember, Adam's the one who, who has a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he does. He's... Like, yeah. I can't remember exactly Tested. what he does, but it's... There yeah. we go! Okay, now I'm ready for the next boss. As God me, damn it! I'm working on Josh's birthday gift, because I just I found out it's his birthday today. Yeah, I saw that he was having a stream earlier. He's probably yeah. still streaming. I saw you t mentioning about the game you're, this game you're playing. And yeah, Josh no, it's because it's his favorite out. entry. Oh my god! Um... What? Prepare for more dick jokes. <laughs> oh my god, it's the it's the precursor to the giant dildo bat from Saints Row 4. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a giant fuck stick. <laughs> but my husband is on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ow! Also, you guys, like, you guys remember when I enlightened everybody by telling them what Moby Huge was if they didn't already know? This shit's got five of them on its head. <laughs> oh my god. That's right, open <laughs> wide. In fact, no, they're bigger than Moby's because they're bigger than Samus's damn suit. Oh, I'm just waiting for people to make comments about a one-eyed monster and swallowing things. Uh, I mean, nah, I wasn't... too easy. Yeah, Alien I wasn't tick. gonna. Also, this thing makes me think of Metroids. I think it okay. might be the weird teeth at the bottom and the transparent body. I'm gonna One -eyed, declare that this is... flying purple people eater. I'm gonna declare that this is officially a gay alien dick because it, Samus is making it smaller. Ooh. Oh no, this is what was no, no, this is what was happening to Golden's Paddle in that other game. Oh my god! It's funny, I was actually watching that highlight involving that moment. I love how the more we develop on past events, the funnier we can make them with new material. Oh heaven. Sometimes foresight can be funnier than initial experience. I thought foreskin was the funny part. Oh my god! I, d I, I don't have an off button today, apparently. No, you do not! That's okay, you never though. had an off button! Oh, my kid! Oh, boy. Oh, that's when Aliora was built, they it is like they didn't have enough funding for an off button, so they just Ow. said, eh, it's been fine. Shit. Yeah. The, the most hilarious part is that I'm still a lot more controlled and tame than my mother is. Oh! Wow. Oh, shit! Well, I mean, yeah, my mother... mom is a little bit cr I may be- I, okay, I'm more, um, I'm more vulgar. My mom is just straight up crazy. Cause she's older than I am and she's at that point in life where you just don't give a fuck no more. Sounds like my mom sometimes. Okay. <laughs> it's gone. Or is I it? I miss mom. Or is it? Also, I just want to point out that SAX is... I just want to point out that SAX is, I just want to point out that SAX is basically Mr. X from Resident Evil 2. <laughs> <laughs> Only you didn't have to play the game twice to see him. Oof. <laughs> I've never played a Resident Evil game, so I don't know. Neither have I. <laughs> I haven't finished no, the remake, I, and it still scares really... the crap out of me. So it's doing I its job. Gotcha. What we're talking about too, so... 
I may not be a fan of the Resident Evil games, but that doesn't mean I'm not familiar with them. No, oh, I stayed the fuck away from them. Stay away right from out, what? Very terrifying Resident games. Evil. Oh. Okay, my my response to fucking um, Dead Space is famous by now. So, does anyone actually think I'd be able to stomach anything of the horror genre? Probably not. Nope. Nope. Doki Doki Literature Cub. Oh, oh cub. God! No. Literature Cub. Do you want to make <laughs> that again? Club. Okay. Uh. Okay. English and number know, one. And I know for a fact that game would really terrify Ellie. It's just, it's like for all the bullshit that I like to do to people, I, j I just can't take horror. I'm a pussy it's bitch. Understand it's I mean, understandable, Ellie. I, there are some levels of horror not even I can take. I mean, I don't really like horror either, but I can talk dark stuff with my friends. I like Dude. spooky Halloween stuff, like Jack Skellington is awesome. He... Speaking of, um... And fake know, women that paint their rear ends look like pumpkins for no reason. you're about to bring up the fucking thing with Disney, I'm gonna lose my no. shit. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. I was talking about, um... I've been thinking about, like, for one of the Halloween-only games that I was... That I'm gonna do, like, that's like, Halloween tradition. I was thinking about playing the actual, um, Boogie's Revenge. I hear good I, things about that game. It's fun. It, it's a really fun, and the music is fun to listen to. It, of course, they're just re saying in like from the original, but at the same time, it's still nice. Okay, this and... is like the third time today that somebody has brought up to me something about Danganronpa. What the fuck is Danganronpa about? Danganronpa, Danganronpa, you're basing. You're basically a part of a. Um, you're part of a school. And you're one of the students who are trapped within the campus. There's no way out. The only way out is going through basically... You have to be the last survivor. But every time a murder happens, there's a trial that happens. And the trial's catch is, if you fail to find out who the murderer is, everybody except for the murderer dies. But you solve who the murderer is, well, the murder gets executed. Basically, the whole... Do they have a scholarship up? program? <laughs> okay, um, um, I don't know if you remember this, Ellie, but there was a fanfic about us, and... Um, there were a couple, I remember. I yeah. just don't know anything about Ning and Rope. They're, they're formerly they known for know. having really bizarre executions. One of which, having well, a freaking... Are... They're brutal, but they're creatively bizarre. Like, the thing that yeah, I remember dude. most is when, uh, like, the music... Hang on a second, I'm being called for something. Uh-oh. Uh, I was trying to remind him that Lethal Aurora Mage did a special with a bunch of character with a bunch of analysts oh, yeah. years ago. So I get that. Uh. Part. Like, um, to basically help you get another idea about it, Ellie, it's also well renowned of being a, a type of visual novel, but when you try to solve the actual case of murder, it is all you it's like a different form of theme altogether. It's like they try to blend two types of genres into one Is game. It... Alright, I'm back. Yeah. Anyways. Huh. Um I, I had explained I also explained to Ellie like the, what kind of genre of game it is. Yeah, and Fox, I was trying to remind you that um Lethal Aurora Mage did a uh, special with a bunch of re reviewers years ago, and I still remember it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's... So I get the creative executions. It's just I didn't know what the hell the rest of, that, of it was about. Ah. And the mascot of this effed up game is a freaking two-faced, literal two-faced bear named Monokuma. That sounds huh. like... That sounds like somebody's quirk went bad. <laughs> okay, picture Two-Face from Batman, but turn him into a teddy bear. That's Monokuma, basically. And somehow more intimidating than actual Two-Face. <laughs> exactly! That might have something to do with the claws. Just a oh. thought. Mm. No, it's more Plus than that. Plus this one's act not... actions aren't dictated to it by a coin. It is no. murdered people. <laughs> He, he he also is the one who does the executions, too, and that's holy flipping crap. Uh, I don't want to hear about this anymore. It does, it's just yeah, really. it, it may be a yeah, messed up game, but it's not terrifying messed up, at least.